Welcome back to World Crisis Radio. So that's the rundown on the 18th Brumaire of Dave Petraeus. That would be his return challenging Obama uh, in the uh, primaries in 2011. About a year from now would be the timetable. And he would come out there as the central figure of the neocon warmonger faction. Uh, and, of course, all the Democrats had hated Petraeus a couple of years ago. But now they love him, and he's the new savior. Obama's not the savior anymore. The savior needed a savior, and the savior of the savior is Petraeus. So he is now the cynosure, the uh, the man in the entire regime, the number one warlord and Barkey's protector. So, but let's get now to the question of uh, the constitutional fight and uh, Obama's birth certificate uh, still not shown, and that p- pestering question of his naturalization in Indonesia. So we want to get an update, of course, from our friend Philip Berg of Philadelphia, who is the alpha birther. Phil, welcome. The alpha birther. Obamacrimes.com is the way to look on everything. O-B-A-M-A-C-R-I-M-E-S.com. A website. I just got an email. Let me uh, read it. I think this uh, I think highlights um, what we're dealing with. Phil, please help. What do we do? Obama is now way out of control, and we must get him out. How? Where does one go to act on his actions? This is crazy. How can one person make all the rules, laws? It's insane. And that's what's going on. Obama is just changing the picture, changing everything in this country, and uh, we have to stop him. And the real way to stop him is do it, support me in my efforts, because the way to stop him is to show that he's constitutionally ineligible to be president, get him out of office one way or the other through the courts or the power of the people, and I think that's what we have to do. We still don't have a date yet. We'll have it very shortly working a lot of things. I, was, I had a, a very busy trial week the past week. <clears throat> but um, I want us to have the largest march ever in Washington, D.C. history. When the American people have to wake up and realize what's going on, Obama is out of control, okay? And and the, and the military is out of control, um, and everything. The uh, health care bill is out of control by passing that. Um, he is out of control. Um, he's doing things. The health care was unconstitutional. He is unconstitutional. No, I mean, he's constitutionally ineligible. Um, and, and don't think that you can't do something. Remember, we started, this country started by a rebellion, by rebelling against the British. Now, what we have to do is rebel against our government. And that's not hard to do. We can do it. And we see what's happening in various states with various elections. They're throwing out people. They're they're nominating people from the Tea Party. Everyone out there, whatever your desire is, whether it's Tea Party or Republican or discontent, Republican, discontent, Democrat, you know, the real answer is to throw everyone out of Washington, D.C., because they really could care less about us. But we can speak up and we can do something. And I think the way to do it is have the largest march ever. And that's where we're planning on it. We've got speakers from around the country to come in and discuss the issues, not only the birth certificate issues, the, the health care issue, um, the war issue, whatever is bothering people. Um, but uh, think about it. What Obama is doing with his taxes and his increase, and not by renewing some of the Bush tax cuts, he's raising taxes. He's doing everything he said he wouldn't do. He's not a candidate of change. He's a candidate of change to your detriment, not to your positive. So let me just to... stress, though, let me just point out, I, I sure, want to please. remind you of the left-wing rationale, because the right-wing rationale we've heard, but look what he's done. He's made the neocon Petraeus the dictator of war policy, and he's put Wall Street zombie banks in charge of Wall Street reform. Uh, this guy is, uh, you know, out of control in some ways, but under total Wall Street and neocon control on so many other things. And... Uh, the raising yeah, taxes, he's, he's, I don't know. But he's out of control for the American public, but he's in control to do the damage to this country. And, and that's it. He's sending us down the, the path for socialism, Marxism. Um, he's sending us away from the constitutional republic that we have and have had for the last 230 years. Wouldn't you agree? I would call it total Wall Street dictatorship. In other words, it is the fascist corporate state. I don't see any socialism at all. I see Wall Street getting everything they wanted overnight in this stupid reform bill, right? Derivatives rule, hedge funds rule, zombie banks rule, socialism, I don't know. It's just the, the, the people have to pay, if that's what you mean. 
Okay, but it's, it's to the, uh, of the general public out there, it's to our detriment. Isn't that sure. correct? Absolutely. I mean, he has not is, held... I, I, I want to stress the idea that, that for leftists, for people who are concerned about the endless war in Afghanistan, the Tea Party people don't care about that, but that's a real issue. And if you see, you know, Limbaugh says that what happened overnight was a, uh, a takeover or a, you know, a command economy. It's just an absolute Wall Street victory up and down the line. You can call it banker socialism, mainly. Which, which is to the detriment of the uh, individual person. I mean, they talk sure about thing. this legislation helping you on your credit cards, but if they really oh. wanted to help, if they really wanted to help on credit cards, they would have limited the interest on credit cards to like two percent above prime, not twenty nine percent. Absolutely, and that was that was removed. That was from Sheldon Whitehouse. There was going to be a limit on the on the interest rates on credit cards and payday loans. That was the White House amendment that was thrown out by Geithner. Right. I mean, it it it, it really is outrageous. And, and the American public, if you please, you know, I know it's the summertime. When the show's over, go to my website, spread it to everyone you know, tell them the date's coming up for the march, tell them to open their eyes and wake up that that Obama, who is going to be the most open, transparent administration, will not even show his birth certificate. He's not open. He's not transparent. They're very secretive. And, and, he doesn't make decisions. Now, he made a quick decision on the uh, thing with the general recently, but look how long it took him to make a decision of how many troops to go, uh, additional troops. The oil crisis in the Gulf is absurd what's going on. It's now going to hit all the beaches. And I think this is another part of Obama's plan to, to force down, uh, to close down all these oil rigs, which, which right. will help his friends. Absolutely. I mean, that, that, that moratorium on, on drilling is in, as a piece of insanity. But you look with, with BP... BP putting $20 billion into this fund is a gift to BP because it basically says, BP, we're capping your liability at $20 billion. I've been calling for BP to be nationalized. That would be a measure with teeth. But what Obama has done, he's done it you know, pretending to, to punish BP, but he's really limited their liabilities. Well, I think it'll be more later on, but but the problem is that BP is not doing everything it can, but but our government hasn't done everything it can. You know, Obama, by saying he's been in charge from day one, I think it's going to be to his detriment. The first thing they should have done, like they did in Egypt and Saudi Arabia when they had leaks, they bring in a massive ships around the leak and just suck up as much oil as possible. They didn't do that. He, Obama didn't do anything for a month. I don't care what he said. And during that month, that has caused the major problems here. And it's it's really to the detriment of, of southeastern United States. And it could go around and come up the East Coast. And if it does, you know, Obama is losing support because people are realizing that what he's doing is to their detriment. And uh, we, we have to stand up. We want what's called a peaceful revolution. <clears throat> we don't want any trouble. We want a peaceful revolution. But if enough people in this country stand firm and stand up, like people have done in elections around the country, we can force Obama out. I really believe we can. We can show him, because one of these days, the national media is going to, they're starting to weaken a little bit. They're going to have to support us, or the issue, whether they support us or not. If this issue had been raised back in 2008 when I raised it, Obama never would have been nominated, never would have been elected. But the national media didn't vet him because the national media felt that we're going to have this guy as president to all of our detriment. So everyone... We want a peaceful revolution. We're going to have a march in in Washington in, in September, the date to be announced very shortly. Webster, I thank you so much for allowing me to air this topic every week. And every week we see something else that Obama is doing to the detriment of our country. So wake Absolutely. up, America. And I, I would just say to, to listeners for this program, you want to end the Afghan war? You want to get real Wall Street reform against derivatives and hedge funds? Uh, Obama is the main stumbling block. So you've got to get rid of Obama. It's, it's gone too far now. This, this, the events of overnight have just been, you know, unspeakable. The, the sellout on any kind of derivatives reform, right? So, again, there are basically all reasons to oppose Obama, right? If you're from the Tea Party, the center-right, whatever you are, but there's a big center-left constituency that better wake up and join in. So we want to support Phil Berg and his call. So we'll see you next week, Phil. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye. And we'll be back in just a minute.